All right, welcome to the tutorial for the Yoda mini badge. This here is the Yoda mini badge. It's one of the ones that I've created. And if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one, it's probably one of the coolest badges you'll see at Saint Con. I'm not biased at all. Um, we're gonna go through the assembly process. Let's get started. Let's get everything outside, out of the bag here. Inside of the bag are the assembly instructions, which is nothing more than a note for you to come and find this video. Um, you can find it on YouTube, St. Con channel. We're highly recommending that you follow these instructions to prevent issues with the LED filament. So while I'm setting that aside, let's talk about the LED filament. Here it is. This is the LED filament. It's actually inside of this paper tube and it's kind of a rigid thing to protect it because that LED filament is super fragile uh, in its just raw state. We're gonna set this aside and attach that almost last. Other things inside of the baggie, the PCB of Mr. Yoda himself. So you can kind of see it's a green PCB. Um, and that's the front side, it shows the Yoda. On the back side, it has a Star Wars logo and you can see positions for LEDs and other things. I'll just point them out. So there's an LED position up at the top, another one here on his shoulder, and another one down here by his feet. These uh, provide backlighting for the mini badge. In the center here, grouped together, are two LED, or sorry, two resistor pads, and we're going to attach the resistors first here in just a moment. The rest of the things inside of the baggie, there's three of these two position uh, header pins. There's two resistors. Now, depending on which Yoda you get, you might get one that has red on both positions, or you might have one that's a red and a green, and those will correspond to the red indicator or the green indicator here. But if you have one that has both red, you put one in both positions and it doesn't uh, matter at all. Um, lastly, there's three LEDs, and these are the ones that do the backlighting effect on the Yoda. We're gonna go through on how to attach those here in just a minute. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started. In order to assemble, we want to pull out the resistors first. I always find resistors are the easiest to get installed and kind of set the pace for what we're doing. I'm just gonna pull those resistors out of this package and set them on the table here. If this is the first time you've ever done something like this, you'll notice that these resistors are super tiny little components. In fact, I'm gonna zoom the camera right down here so that you can even kind of barely see the fact that they exist. Um, the LEDs here are also very small. Uh, they're, they're physically about the same size, um, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to attach those. The best way to attach a resistor or any other component that's SMD is to do one side at a time. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, start tinning one side of each one of these components. And we're gonna start with the resistor. So right here in the center, there is, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of solder to one side of that pad. And just for good measure, I'm gonna add just a little bit there. And what you can see here is that now I've got those pads and one side has a little blob of solder. So I'm gonna take one of these resistors. Uh, resistors do not have polarity and so they can go in whatever orientation you want them to. And I'm just gonna set it right here on top so that it's bridging that blob and the side that does not have a blob on it. I'm gonna see if I can get this down just a little bit closer and make that a little easier to see. The lighting effect might be a little rough, but I'll move this over here. And I'm just gonna set that resistor right here. And once I have it in place, I'm just going to rest the closed tweezers on top and I'm just going to heat up the solder on this side and you'll feel the resistor sink underneath of the tweezers and now that particular resistor is attached on one side. I'm going to grab this other one. We're just going to repeat the process. So I'm going to set it across the two bridges here about where I want it. I'm going to hold just a tiny bit of pressure on top while I heat that solder and that resistor is just going to sink right down in there. And now what we'll see is that it's attached 
on one side and not the other. And so to finish up the attachment, I'm gonna put it in this orientation. It's a little easier for me. And I'm gonna take this little angel hair solder and I'm just going to put it up against the component and I'm just gonna heat it with the iron. And that's as much as you need right there is just a tiny little bit of solder. And that'll complete the connection on the other side. So now, now those resistors are in place and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is the exact same process, but with each one of the three LEDs. And so in order to prepare that, I'm going to take the pads and I'm just gonna put a little blob on that pad, on that pad, and on that pad to get things ready. Then I'm gonna take the LEDs here. I'm gonna grab my tweezers. I'm just going to see if I can nestle that underneath that plastic and pull these LEDs out. You have to be kind of careful to not pull or snap them or they'll fly all over the place. And I'm just gonna lay these onto the table. And we're gonna take a real quick look at these because LEDs do have a polarity and it's important that they're put in the right direction or they won't work properly. And so it might be kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna pick one of these up and I'm gonna show you what that looks like underneath. If you can see that, you'll see a line with a little bit of a nub. And that nub points to the negative side of the circuit. Uh, and on this Yoda badge, the negative side is on the right-hand side. And so you want the nub that you can see right here to point to the blob of solder that I've put down here on the right-hand side. And so in order to do that, I gotta kinda turn this thing over and put the top part of the LED facing up. The nub is facing to the right, and I'm going to grab that LED, and I'm going to heat this blob of solder, and I'm just gonna slide that LED into it. And then I'm gonna rest the tweezers on top and I'm just going to heat that up one more time to make sure it's flushly mounted to the board. So next LED over here, again, it's kind of hard to see, but the nub is going to face right and so I've got to just turn this over. So I'm going to turn it like that. I'll set it on the board, get another bite at it, and I'm just going to hold it, heat this solder, and I'm going to slide that LED into it. And you'll notice on this one, this happens sometimes, that that LED is raised off the edge because when you're holding the tweezers, it's kind of hard to keep it flat. And so the way you fix that is you just rest the tweezers on top. You're not putting a ton of pressure. And you're just heating that little blob of solder again and you'll feel the LED will sink right back down flush onto there. And again, we're just doing one side of each one of these LEDs at the moment. Last LED. This one's nub is facing to the right, and so I've actually got to flip it over like this, and I'll set it on the board, and then I'll re-grab it to make it a little easier. Okay, and we just knocked it out of place, and so we better verify which direction it's supposed to be again, because it's hard to tell on the top. So the nub here is facing that way, and so now I'm just gonna turn it over and face it back the way that I want it to go. Sometimes they're a little finicky, but I'm gonna grab the tweezers. And again, last time, I'm gonna push that into the solder blob. And then I'm just gonna rest my tweezers on top, nice and gently. And I'm gonna finish up soldering that down. And then to finalize each one of those three components, I'm just gonna take some of this solder and I'm just going to put a tiny little piece up against the edge where I want the solder to be, and I'm just gonna to touch it with the iron, and it'll complete that connection for all three of these. And there's just a minuscule amount of solder that's necessary here. If you're putting a ton on there, um, it'll it'll blob up and it'll make it, you know, it'll potentially burn up the, the uh, LED. So be a little bit careful, it doesn't take very much. And so now I've got the two resistors and the three backside LEDs on here. And so we're ready now to actually install the lightsaber for our little Yoda. And so to do that, I'm gonna kind of zoom us out just a little bit so we can see a little bit better here. 
This again is the LED filament. The little green line here indicates which color of uh, LED filaments in there. This one's green, it's the most common, but there are blue and pink, uh, red, uh, and maybe even some other colors out there. Some are a little bit more rare than others, and they're given out randomly, so it's not like you get the one that you want or whatever. Okay, so inside of here is an LED filament. I've opened up that in with some tweezers, and I'm just gonna kinda shake it out. These are very fragile, meaning that if you bend it like this, it'll snap and it'll break and it won't work anymore. A couple of other things to note about this LED filament is on one side here, you'll see a hole in the piece of metal on one side and you'll see no hole on the other. So we're just gonna reference the side of the hole and I'm just gonna have you kind of hold it to reinforce it and you're just gonna bend that down right there at that hole. If you bend it back and forth too much, it will break off. That's not what you're gonna want. So you're gonna just bend it down and leave it in that position. And then on the other end, you're gonna do the exact same thing in the exact same direction. So it's gonna point the same way. Just reinforce it and just kind of grab that and bend it down so that you've got both of those facing the same direction. Okay, then we're gonna take the end with the hole at the top and we're gonna stick it on the top part of the lightsaber for the Yoda. So it's gonna go in the top, and then the bottom side will fit into that hole. And then the point is to kind of get it to where it mounts itself flush to the PCB. Once it's there, it's a whole lot more stable, and it the, there's a much less, or there's much less chance that you're gonna break that filament. So we're gonna turn it over, and we're gonna solder that filament on the back side, and that's done by just connecting solder here and connecting solder here. And then once those are done, we want to make sure that that filament is resting or snug to the board. Again, that keeps it from breaking because the PCB is actually quite rigid. And so after that, he's not going to break. It's pretty, pretty uh, robust. Last thing to do is to put the header pins on. And so I generally use like an extender board or my badge or whatever to do this. It makes it a lot easier to hold all these things in position. I'm gonna stick these headers with the long ends down in this configuration. So on the, the two on the left-hand side and the one on the top. On the right-hand side, this one only takes three sets instead of four. And I'm gonna rest the Yoda in each one of those. And I'm gonna take a moment and I'm gonna solder each one of these connections so that it's connected to the board. And once it's connected, this mini badge is complete, meaning that it should light up and work. In fact, I've got a little powered board right here and let's go ahead and just test it. So I'm gonna bring this down here and if we put this in here, our Yoda should immediately start lighting up. Well, I need to actually, he's not quite in the right position. So there he goes. And so what he is, he's got a red backlight. And he's got a green lightsaber. And I'll turn these lights out here, maybe to make this a little bit easier to see. And so there is your Yoda mini badge. And it wouldn't be fun if you didn't have a couple of friends. And so just to kind of show you, here's the blue version which has color changing LEDs. Those are pretty rare. Uh, here's a red version, or actually that's the pink version of the Yoda that's backlit with red LEDs. And there's also a red version and I don't know if it'll fit in here, but Yoda's got a couple of friends. And there is the Yoda mini badge for SyncCon 2022. Hope you enjoy.